Well, a cable news host had to resign this week after a vicious attack on a conservative woman, Sarah Palin. But that resignation did not seem to get a whole lot of attention. The folks at the Media Research Center did a little checking. It turns out when Rush Limbaugh made a derogatory comment about Sandra Fluke, the former Georgetown law student who testified before House Democrats on the subject of birth control, the mainstream media covered it 32 times in two weeks after the comment was made. Yet when former MSNBC host Martin Bashir said on his show uh, that Sarah Palin was a good candidate for vile, disgusting slave punishment, we'll leave it at that, guess how many times those same networks covered that? Joining me now, Brent Bazell, founder and president of the Media Research Center. He performed the study. Brent, how many times did they cover it? Well, uh, it's not hard to count them. It's zero. <laughs> no cover whatsoever. And it's so bad that you don't want to even say what it was. Um, and I will tell your audience, if you don't know what it was that he said, just imagine the most disgusting thing imaginable. And that's what he said should be done to Sarah Palin. It was a hundredfold more serious than anything Rush Limbaugh has ever said about anyone in 30 years on his radio show. And yet 32 stories, which is a tsunami on Rush Limbaugh, nothing, crickets about Martin Bashir. So you're telling me that not none of the big three covered the Bashir Palin dust up at all? No, no, they didn't cover it, but they don't cover the ongoing, there's, 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 there's real misogyny on that network. When you have got the, the uh, uh, Chris Matthews who will call Sarah, uh, Michelle Bachman a zombie, who will call Sarah Palin an imbecile, um, who throw out these kind of uh, insults, uh, that the media that believe in tolerance, that give us all these lectures about decency, are nowhere to be found because it's conservative women who are being attacked. All right, let me ask you this. Is it about conservative women, and I'm going to play devil's advocate here, or is it about Sarah Palin because she is an alienating figure to many and they, they feel like she gives out as good as she gets and so, you know, if you're going to enter into that arena, you got to be able to take even the most vile attacks. I think it's both. She is the uber conservative woman. Uh, she is the North Star for attacks as far as they're concerned, which is why he would say something. And you know the interesting thing about what, what happened? This wasn't an off-the-cuff remark. Right. This was a prepared, produced set of piece. And it begs the question, not why did Martin Bashir resign? It took him, it took him two weeks, 19 days to do that. Why wasn't he fired the moment he did that? Where's Comcast's apology to Sarah Palin and to all their yeah. viewers who had to undergo that? And where are the national media covering this? No, it's because of Sarah Palin, but it's because she's a woman. And then look, you know, misogyny is okay if you're a conservative woman. Racism is okay if you're a conservative black. Bigotry is okay if you're a Catholic organization. All these things that they preach are acceptable if it's their political opposition. Let me ask you while I have you, because President Obama made some news, speaking of MSNBC, talking to Chris Matthews last night and talking about the divisiveness in this country. Listen to his, uh, his take on it. The American people are good and they are decent. And yes, sometimes we get very divided, partly because our politics and our media uh, specifically tries to divide them uh, and splinter them. Our media specifically tries to divide the people and splinter them. What's happened is that some in the media, not very many, but some in the media have concluded this fiasco of Obamacare is simply indefensible, especially when the man lied dozens of times to the American people. And there are some in the liberal media, some liberals, who are saying this has got to be covered, and that's his reaction. How dare you? You think he's getting ticked off at the negative coverage about his well, he's had, legislation? He's had 100% sycophantic coverage, and the wheels are coming off everywhere. And even his most ardent supporters, some of them are saying, you've just gone too far. Interesting. Brent, thank you. Good to see you. Hope you feel better. I know. Thank you very much.